Hey people, AZ Zombie here, back with the next part of my Elden Ring playthrough. Um, so, a few developments since the last episode. Uh, I've done a bit of exploring and come across a, a few traps, uh, so I'll share with you uh, that in a little bit. First of all, though, we're going to make our way into the next dungeon, just over from the one of the ones we did in the last episode. So, here is Stormfoot ca Catacomb, sorry, and this is Groveside Cave. So we're going to make our way in here, and then after this I'm going to show you uh, a few issues I had, and basically something to avoid. Um, so I think I've already lit this. I might just rest quickly. There we go. Just to make sure that we uh, come back here if we die. I'm hoping this is not too bad, though. So what have we got in here? we got wolves. So the last one was like demi-humans, I think they were called. This setup of this cave looks almost identical to the other one though. Okay, there's the bosque door. Let's uh, go and take out these wolves over here first then. And then we'll deal with the uh, the boss. Oh god, I was going to say I, I'm one-shotting all these guys, but then there's a big guy right here. Oh, I'm guessing there's lots of them. There we go. Sorry, I am if I, I am a bit... Uh, quieter in this episode, but we are well late into the night recording this, because I just haven't stopped playing the game since I got it. <laughs> okay, some more golden ruins. So yeah, they're basically like the uh, the soul items which I mentioned last time. I, I was trying to work out what was what, and uh, yeah. I had a bunch of them saved up, and I got to use them all, and uh, got a few levels, which is nice. I put um, one point into Faith, which meant that I could equip a cat list. Um, and I've now got a cat list equipped, so I've got Flame Sting, and I've also got Poison Sword. And I'll explain about the Poison Sword in a minute. Uh, but yeah, that was an interesting story, to say the least. So... Let's put poison on. I don't know if this is any way effective against this boss, but we'll soon find out. Oh, I keep pressing X to do everything all the time. Okay, I was about to do that. I don't know like what attacks of his I can actually block and get a repost on because he seems to do a bunch of attacks. I don't think I could uh all my stamina would cope through all that. I don't think I'd get a uh, guard counter either. Oh there we go. Nice. Oh that's our first talisman. Boosts fire damage negation. It seems we just got a fire resistant rune. We may have a crack at the dragon that is around here because basically um, I found this area when I was exploring um, the dragon burnt ruins, which I'm guessing means there's a dragon about. And anyway, there is a little staircase there, and down that staircase there's some rats, a door, and a chest. Um, and let me just get away from these enemies a second. What happened when I opened that chest? was that some fog appeared and I got transported all the way here <laughs> and this area was very scary um, luckily I was able to run down out of the cave I was in and escape um, but that meant that on the way uh, I saw one of those rolling ball things that we saw before and I got a poison armament 
I think I also got another spirit summon. Um, I don't think I can equip it at the moment though. And then Melina showed up and she took us to the round table, which I'll show you in a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, I also made another mistake at the round table, which I'll uh, show you very shortly. So anyway, let's have a look at the lake. See what this dragon is about. There he is. Oh god. So let's uh, stick some poison on our weapon. It might, uh, it might help us out. I don't know if you can poison this dragon. But it'd be good if we could. Ow. Okay. Okay, I think summoning Torrent would have been good there. Come on, let me poison you. Oh wow. That is not good. Is that fire again? No. Okay, let me summon Torrent. Okay, that was silly. I'm still alive though. How? Okay, see, Torrent is useful for this, for the looks of it. Oh, wow! And we're dead. Yeah, I was kind of hoping the, uh, the soldiers would be back to distract him. But it looks like once they're dead, they're dead. Okay, I'm not seeing any chip damage from the uh, poison. So I'm guessing he's uh, poison resistant. God. Get out of here, Torrent. No. Let's get back in on him. Ooh. God. This is actually quite fun to be honest. Bit of an insane battle. I was kind of hoping I could hit him in the head then. The only thing is if we like we're not hitting him that often, I don't think we'll be able to get a stagger on him. That charge attack there was a jumping attack. Really seemed to uh, affect him. Oh god. Please don't tell me Torrent is down. No, he just disappeared. Alright, we need to try and get in on this attack. We're doing well. It's kind of hard to track because I'm not locking on. But I don't want to die just because the camera has screwed me over.
God, he's miles away. I don't think I can get in on him for this attack. Ah, no, I'm stuck on a tree. Jesus. No, so close. I think we will try again. Oh my god! If I had lived with that, that would have been insane. Wow. No. Oh, the double hit. The uh, environment won't screw us over here. Let's see, he's bound to spin around. God. Seems like it's always ideal to go to his right hand side when he's doing his flamethrower or his uh, all that move in the air. Just can't believe this guy hasn't stacked at once. I mean, he's nearly dead at least. Safety heal, I think, now. One hit. Right, come on. Ah! Great enemy felled. Dragonheart. Okay, I think I know where we can use that. I want to get some sort of um, checkpoint or something in this area though first, if we can. Just looking for some sort of save point. Here we go. We'll go into this dungeon here. It's bound to have one. Limgrave Tunnels. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, I'm sure there's a sort of platform then. Actually, we'll get it now. Haha! <laughs> Ah, oh, there was two platforms. It was a higher one. I should have gone on the higher one first. Four golden runes. Okay, well, at least it gives us a way down. To call it back now. game. You have to be so mean to me. Looks like you can just drop here directly from the top, <laughs> which would have been a lot easier from the start. Oh, great, and there was nothing there. Yeah, I went up and checked the upper platform, and there was literally nothing there. Okay, um, so I can hear miners. 
and I'm hoping that this means that there'll be some materials for us to finally upgrade our weapon a bit more. This is kind of like a parallel to the other area that I went to. So it was a mine, um, but it had much higher level smithing stones. I think it was like the final level. Okay, that guy's got a big... <laughs> I was going to say that guy's got a big sack. I'm guessing this means he's got uh, all the stuff. No, he didn't even drop anything. Okay. Well, it looks like it's pretty much guaranteed off the walls anyway. wonder if this respawns. Are you an enemy? Oh, wow, I'm bouncing off you. You're a stone man. Again, that's that's probably a reference to uh, the guys in Demon Souls there. Because that was the first game, really, and they didn't carry it over so much um, in some of the games at least we um, like I don't know like thrust and stuff was more effective or blunt was more effective apart from I think when they went over to Dark Souls 1 there was a the whole thing of holy um, smith and stone I'm guessing there's nothing here hit the path ahead I doubt it yeah like I, I keep trying to attack or interact and it just doesn't seem to happen any time so far. And do you have goodies for me? Oh god. Okay, well I, I think I can at least get one more level into my sword. Yeah, I really had to get my bearings for a second then. Uh, I was like, am I back at the start? Or is this a new area? Ah, oh, look, there's the drop down that side. I'm not going to be able to jump there from here, am I? Trolled. Okay, we'll, we'll do that in a sec. Yeah, this is this is very similar to the area that I was in with these um, the enemies mining and these little uh, carts. Well, not carts. These little housing areas. Oh god. need a two hand and we won't bounce, uh, bounce off these guys. Oh, wow, how did that reach me? I could really do with something like to make my flasks a bit stronger at this stage to be honest. Because it's barely half a health bar. Ha. Huh. I'm guessing the only thing left then is this drop off. I think they purposely put it like behind you just to kind of throw you off. Okay, and there is a stake of Mar uh, Marika here, so boss maybe? There's certainly a lot more enemies here. A lot more. Don't call everybody. Oh my god. That lasts for so long. Stop calling everybody. Oh my god, what, what do I do here? This lantern, like, if I die here, I need to kill this lantern guy first next time. Oh, there's another one. 
And there's a firebomb guy. Backstab for the win. I just need to stay well out of it with the... <sighs> I'm sure the ones upstairs, like, they didn't explode. Oh, can I even get behind it? No, I can't. No, don't call people. God, I've, I've put like a few points into stamina, but it seems more than enough already. Um, at least for this weapon. If I get a different weapon, it's probably going to be a different story. Yeah, I can swing quite a bit, at least with the uh, with the R ones, anyway. There's plenty of um, hits to keep me going. Another elevator. I wonder how far down this goes. Is it kind of like a, a thing of? Continue at your own risk and it just gets harder and harder. Okay, is there drop offs again? Looks like there is. Let's just go this way and check out what side at least I should be going. So I can go this way or this way. This way has shiny things, so I will go this way first. Okay, that seemed worth it. Um, I'm not too sure if there's anything on that side. I couldn't see it from where I was. Okay, that reeks of boss room. I'm guessing this is once again going to say hidden path. And no, it's obviously not. Um, we will send the lift back up before we fight this guy. Okay, here we go. Should probably get myself at full health. Just in case, because this is probably going to be a beefy boy that... Uh... Yeah. Getting hit by that looks like it'd be no fun. Okay, that was kind of weak. I can't see where he is and what he's doing. So far, I'm uh, underwhelmed with this uh, poison spell. Or oh. maybe I just... <laughs> oh, wow. Where's my uh, riposte? Okay, let's, let's heal now. Just to be safe. Okay, is he going berserk now because we've hit a gate? Surely he needs to recover after that. He does need to recover after that. Okay, so this is another area I just want to show you very quickly, and it's quite cool. Um, so you can see we're just uh, to the south of where we fought the dragon, where the dragon burnt runes are. Um, and then there's a series of drop-down ledges, uh, or alternatively, you can jump torrents directly into this current of air, 
and you will land safely. So first of all, there's an enemy here, this big guy with a great sword, and he will give you a gravity-based uh, war art. And then the interesting part um, is this cave here will actually take you back to the very start and back to the item that um, we were seeing when we first started the area just before the tutorial. And what you get is a holy talisman. Uh, and that's all that's really here in this area. A few crabs and uh, a few golden runes. Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Salem, her sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? Ah, a yen for glimstone sorceries. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature, with a bit of luck. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. As a reviled, apostate witch, do you still wish to learn from me? <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protege in Glimstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice.
Okay, so we're back on uh, the Dragon Island, just over here, which we accessed from the Coastal Cave. So now we've got a Dragon Heart. Let's see if we can do something with this altar. I'm going to go for the weakest thing, because it's the only thing that I'll probably have a chance of using if I'm not going to invest my stats. Okay, so that's our first uh, dragon spell. Now, I'll show you the round table. So, it seems like Melina decides at some point that you're worthy. From speaking to friends, it can be from beating the first boss in the castle. Um, for me, it happened directly after I got sent over to this side of the map. Um, so, basically, I ran downwards out of the cave. That's all you could do is run down and run down, and then you eventually got out because um, the enemies were, were, were too strong and then I went left and then there was this site of grace here and then Melina popped up and she said come to the round table so I'll show you the round table very uh, quick <laughs> spawn here um, no real loading time because obviously the size of this area compared to the main map is, is minuscule um, so there's a lot of NPCs you can speak to here this guy he didn't appear straight away, but then he did appear and then sold me uh, my miracles, so that was handy. Uh, this guy didn't have a lot to say, neither did this guy. Um, the guy here gave me a gesture, that was about it. This guy was actually in the round table section, but then he moved over to here. He talks about the fingers. Didn't really know what he wants me to do, to be honest, at this stage. But I'm sure we'll find out. And then there's another um, thing here. I'm not too sure. Like, apart from the weapons uh, and obviously these stone keys, which you can access those um, fog walls through, I'm not too sure what um, some of these are. So, uh, okay, these, these are covenant items. I don't know what the rune arcs are. So this is the other thing I wanted to show you, this area here. Um, I made the mistake of jumping down here to see what was going on. Um, and there was an NPC invader that was very strong. Um, however, uh, there was no way I could get my souls out of that room without defeating him. So I think I tried him about 10 times and I managed to finally defeat him. He was like a mage with a scythe. Very difficult. After, but after I beat him, I got a decent amount of souls. Um, and then there was a rune... Uh, sorry, the rooms to the side opened up. And I got a fist weapon, which I, I don't have the uh, requirements for. Um, and then over here is this lady that wants to give you a hug. And I think it gives you a buff. Um, down here is... Um, is one of the fog doors. I haven't opened it though because uh, I haven't got any stone keys and I didn't want to fork out 4,000 uh, souls or runes, sorry, at this stage. And then this guy is the blacksmith. Where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms then. So we should be able to strengthen our weapon now, which is what we're going to do. And we'll do it twice. And then we need Smithing Stones Mark II to get it up again. Now, when you finally come here, it's a bit confusing because there's no point of grace. Uh, and also, most of the doors are locked at this stage. So you just need to go back to uh, back to the map, and then you can warp out of here. Um, I think we've covered a decent amount for this episode, at least. Um, what I'll do is I'll probably do a bit more exploring see what else I can find, um, maybe some more caves, um, and then probably after the next episode we, we want to maybe progress the story a little bit. Now we've got our sword to plus three, we're probably in, a, in quite a decent spot to be honest to, uh, to progress the game. So I hope you've enjoyed this one, if you have liked the video, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.